In the summer of 2010, mute Canadian filmmaker, celebrity lacrosse enthusiast, and award-winning philanthropist Tad Harsh returned to the documentary arena. Tad came out of hiding from a notorious shape-shifting cult to undertake a heroic journey into the seedy underbelly of worldwide obsession. The result, my friends, is Tad Harsh's stalking heads. She came out of nowhere, mate, and I'm not going to lie, she was, she was an absolute stunner. They hadn't had much female attention for quite some time. I went over to her on the treadmill, and uh, I accidentally slept because uh, I was a little bit sweaty, and uh, it hit the stop button, and she flew off uh, into a pot plant. Once we got over that kind of awkwardness, we started dating, and it's a bit like Romeo and Juliet. Her family took exception to me uh, dating, uh, dating her because of the whole racial thing. The old man came down absolutely took a swipe at me uh, and I just caught him with a lucky shot, you know, bang! Kind of went round Sydney and followed her and still a little bit touchy. And there is a, there is a court order. And uh, that's when I had a two mesons in the underpants. And that's when I do believe um, I found out that I was a homosexual. I had this voice and it was this, it was the, the Greek uh, candy floss seller. And then he licked his lips like this, mm, like that. Um, and I took that as a come on. For me, this was, this was the perfect chance, I thought, for, for myself to break my, uh, my carnal duck. I went, ha, 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 like that. And he, George was, was quite taken with my love. The game was up. Uh, I think that's a phrase that is used across both sides of the pond. Um, when I opted to, to purchase a 99 flake, he told me that George Os had come uh, come to a grisly end of the hands of an octopus. It was almost like uh, that film Shirley Valentine. Um, uh, but my name's Jeffrey, of course, so you could almost say it's Jeffrey Valentine. Um, he was my Tom Conti. I have a little uh, fling with one waitress, you know, and the other, and sometimes around the back in the alleyway, and <laughs> because I go, Ooh, ah! there was this woman, oh. And so she went, ooh, <laughs> she's taken uh, some money from, my, uh, from the, uh, the counter. And in the end, uh, I found out the, uh, the place where they put the mental people. Oh, wow. I ended up with a, a guy called Joel, you know, and he was wonderful. And he could carry about 10 antelope at once, like stacked high upon himself. We very soon got married and... Uh, um, I would have liked children, really, but Jal was uh, too busy drinking most of the time. And then there was this wonderful guy from Nigeria. Uh, he was a witch doctor. And often I could hear him doing his uh, chanting. It would go something like this. He would tell me about everything and about the different things he would use in his uh, potions. Um, like, you know, the, uh, the anus of a snake. He got very angry uh, and he tossed Pete out of the house. Joel had broken both his legs um, at a very awkward angle, so he could not walk anymore. But uh, since that day, uh, Joel and I have never been stronger. Pete's probably never been weaker, to be fair. Oh, that brings me on to another one of my tattoos that I sometimes do. You know, me and my pops, when we get a little bit bored and stuff, so we go out and we get a shotgun, and once you pop Dan Gator's eyes out, they can't see and shit, you know? So that makes them a whole lot better when you're trying to poach those fuckers, man. Anyhow, we just laid down and suddenly Poppy went, why the hell is that? I said, I, I'm sorry, I had a lot of meat earlier, so I got a bit of wind. That's when it happened. It was this little itty bitty, tiny little gator, like baby gator. He bit, he bit my hand, man, he bit my hand. And I, and I kind of like going like that, and I went, get off you little fuck. And I was like, Pfft. Anyway, that little fucker came back because the next morning when I turned over, he was like staring me right in the eyes like that. And he, he like flew out of the air and got on my back. And it was like a little gator backpack. So this is Otis Jr. and I, I'm thanking you for your time. Ooh. Tad sadly has since fallen prey to a thinly veiled African email scam, an utterly transparent Manhattan Ponzi swindle. If you can help Tad and his long-suffering producer, Matthew Ogborn, complete Tad's latest opus, the documentary gods will forever shine down on you. All acting, directing, producing, voiceover, and writing offers along with cold hard cash to Matthew at stalkingheads at btinternet.com or tweet Tad at stalkingheads. Tell him how you feel.